Hello everyone and welcome back to the Jameson Wildlife Park in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we are finally looking at our beavers again! It has been far too long since we have come and tried to finish up this challenge with our beloved beavers. But you know what? I've been thinking a lot about maybe getting a guinea pig with chips sometime soon. And when you think about guinea pigs, you think about other rodents. And when you think about rodents, you think about capybara. And when you think about capybara, you think about beavers. Or at least that's the series of thoughts of amazing animals that happens when I am thinking about these little ones. But look at her! Oh, she is the alpha female of our current little beaver family that we have here in the Jameson Wildlife Park. And I hope that everybody can learn a lot more about her because it turns out, my friends, we only have one more challenge to finally try to go ahead and fulfill for this. And I can't believe it has taken us so long, but we were having a great time. We were rebuilding everything. Ooh, I forgot we put down like a beautiful statue set over here. And I was just loving being a part of this zoo for a long time. So the fact that once again, we have only reached bronze in a challenge, pah, pah, who cares? We had a good time. So what we need to do in order to finish this challenge and finally wrap up all of our play with the beavers so that I can really start adding them in by the handfuls into all of our franchise zoos is go ahead and increase education rating to three stars, which might be a little hard because I feel like education is one of the things I struggle with the most with our guests because they don't really seem to want to be educated. They want to be fed. They want to be watered. They want to be given a bathroom. Oh my gosh, these people really need a bathroom. <laughs> And if you don't take care of those things first, then they could care less about paying attention to like what's going on with the life cycle of a beaver on a little poster or something like that. But we're going to do our best because I'm actually really excited to try out a new adventure that's all about beavers that I've heard a lot of fun things about called Timberborn, which is basically a city like planning game, which I do love, that is centered all around beavers. So we're going to give that a little bit of a try. I think that would be really fun. And look at the little Yule, the baby beaver. Oh. Okay, they're starting to feel a little bit crowded, so we might need to go ahead and adopt out some of these wee beavers, but we'll work on that in just a little bit here. All right, so last thing, guest education. It's actually like rapidly dropping. Apparently these people like really, really, really need to learn to read, uh, but I haven't given them anything to read, so perhaps I should be a little more cautious about my words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and since we're starting over by the beavers. Um, okay, the black-tailed prairie dogs have probably bred too much because they're also very hungry. But since we're over here, let's go ahead and start with some good edumacation, as my dad likes to say sometimes, uh, with these people. And we'll do European classic benches. Maybe if we give people some spots to go ahead and rest. They'll kind of catch their breath for just a minute. It doesn't look like we need to worry too much about money at the moment, which is very nice. And then let's see, conservation boards. We could do an animal talk area. That'd probably go over okay. Um, Let me see. All right, we'll use these animal education boards, even though they're not super like, well, I, I mean, even if we're gonna like pop out of here soon, I want to try to make everything fit neatly. All right, give me just a second. I've got to pick out the perfect habitat board. I mean, that one kind of works because it's just simple planks. Aha! This one will do. There! Yeah, this is perfect. And then we can cover it with plants. So this will absolutely help out. And then we'll just put plants behind it so that it doesn't look so awkward. Uh, and we'll put this down here. And then all about the beaver! Yes, welcome friends! All of you who come anywhere in this vicinity are going to be hearing about beavers. Just so you know. Alright, then we'll tuck this maybe inside here a little. You know what, maybe we just need to cover it with some plants. I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright, no blueprints please. And then let's go ahead and get our temperate climate plants. Maybe temperate and grassland, why not? Uh, well, not grassland. And then ta-da! Like, throw a nice beech tree behind it and nobody's going to be- Well, okay, maybe a smaller beech tree than that. And nobody's going to be able to fuss about, like, what it looks like behind the habitat education board. 
And actually, the beech trees would be quite useful to kind of sprinkle a few, so people can be like, oh yeah, that's what the beavers cut down with their teeth. That's what they eat. Oh, look at that dad holding his daughter's hand. That was really sweet. All right, so if I'm going to try to improve people's education here, um, they're happy because they had like a toilet, and then they're a little thirsty. So maybe I'll put down... Maybe we'll attract people over to this spot, and then, oh, maybe an animal talk point. Yeah, we'll get an animal talk point over here. And then I'll hire ourselves another staff member, an educator. All right. And then you, sir, I'm going to put into Beaver Pond, and then Work Zone Manager for Beaver Pond. Eh, eh. Eh, there. All right, and then we'll have no species assigned. Are you kidding me? It's a beaver! Yay, and we can throw food, sweet. And we can link seeding if we wanted to. Uh, let's do a talk in, I think, July, because it'll be really hard to convince him <laughs> to come back over here. Meanwhile, what do these people want? A lot of these people are super thirsty, so I think then we'll set up a little spot over here for them to get something to drink. And you may wonder, what Siri, what does that have to do with educating people? Well, the truth of the matter is, and actually I think a coffee spot here would be just fine. Even though this looks like an Arctic coffee spot, we'll just let it roll. <laughs> no, animal welfare has attracted protesters. Oh no, why this again? All right, hang on. I'll work on that in just a second. But I'm trying to give people coffee over here so that they'll they'll feel like they want to stay in the area. And so that they'll feel refreshed and eager, like little beavers, to stick around and learn from what we might have to say about being in this area. All right, and animal welfare, I know, I know is really bad. Let me just throw down a bin or two before I, I scurry away because otherwise I will forget. So please reduce, reuse, recycle, friends. Yes, yes. All right, couple bins real fast. Oh my gosh, there's already a bin over there. If you people can't just like hold on. All right, who's welfare? Hello, little one. Is it because you were so hungry? Well, there's a lot of you guys. I love their names. But we're gonna adopt out a couple of these little prairie dogs because we have too many of them, I think, is kind of our problem. Prairie dogs, why must your why, why, why must there, um, gosh, and I hear the protesters coming through. They're already okay again, friends. You can, you can back off. Oh my gosh, we've learned so much about the moose, the noble moose, and we've researched a ton of themes. Uh, habitat cleanliness is an issue for our okapi. And then fox fields has bad barriers. Let's call a mechanic urgently, please. Okay, mechanic's already fixing it. Oh, look at our foxes! Oh, I remember building this now! Heck, this was so much fun, you guys! I just remembered, like, what it was like to go ahead and build, like, these seats and to get everything all put together for fox fields. See, that's what I mean. I prefer building, like, the great memories we look back on and we're, like, really proud and excited about versus just like, oh, did we go super duper fast? All right, let's actually come over here and we're gonna make a little spot for people to learn a wee bit whilst they're hanging out with the gators. Um, where, where? Uh-oh. What? Did we just, wait, what? <laughs> wait, I want clarity. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> Somehow we have a tiny escaped baby alligator. American alligator. Okay, Yosemite, how did you do that? I have no idea how he did that. I'm gonna go ahead and capture him manually. And then I think he just kind of like wiggled himself through the water somehow and ended up with our wolves. All right, that was not part of the plan. Uh, meanwhile, I wanna come down here and since so many people end up over here, Let's actually make a little extended spot where people can come over and maybe learn a little bit more. What do they what do they really want? Okay, they're super thirsty. So, once again, if you want to educate people, you have to go ahead and you have to convince them to stop a moment and spend a little bit of time hanging out with you. And we're going to do that by putting in Let's see, we'll put a bin here, 
And then we're going to put down a couple of benches. I like the aquatic theme because that seems... Here, we won't put down that many benches. We'll just put one there. And then if we want people to stop, you have to convince them to stop because they want to learn. I mean, it's like if you if you ran any kind of school, you're not going to expect the kids to pay attention if they're like hungry and thirsty. That's why it's so important. I'm a huge proponent of like free meals for all students. Like, trust me. I don't think I would have had anything <laughs> to eat like for a lot of my childhood if there hadn't been like free meals provided. So I'm a huge proponent for that. And you just can't focus when you're hungry. You just can't. All right, let's put this down. We'll put down a pip shop. And then we'll put down, I don't know about a cosmic cow, but let's do maybe a coffee one too. Because lots of people seem to be thirsty when they come over here. Some people are hungry, some people are tired. I'm hoping people will like recognize this spot soon. Do you guys want to sit down? Is that what's going on here? Oh my gosh. Okay, so people actually really do want to sit down. I've never actually watched a collection of guests while they rest and take a break. So I kind of want to keep an eye on this for just a second. I'm curious to see. Did their energy go up at all? Oh, look, their energy went to 100 for the whole group. That's so cool. And then I think they're thirsty. So they're working their way over to the vending machine. All right, and then they're a little hungry. So everybody seems to want the pip shot water instead of the coffee. So maybe we'll take out the coffee and we'll replace it. Oh wow, people are really tired by the time they get over to, to here. Maybe we will just kind of make a larger area where you can kind of walk across the alligators. All right, so now their thirst is like 75% fulfilled. Oh wait, no, people are coming for the coffee now too. Interesting. All right, so while everybody's doing this, I want to get some edumacation up, as my dad says. So let's come down to visual media. And then, oh boy, I forgot how you have to do it kind of awkwardly. But this seems like a great spot to go ahead and try to educate people a little bit more. Um, gosh, where's the good education board I just had? It's further down here, isn't it? Just this like plain Jane info board. I like it. All right, so we'll pop up here. And then we'll overlap here. And then maybe I'll just kind of surround this with some education spots. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and have some info on ye olde American alligator. If I turn that on, is it going to clash? Okay, so this actually clashes, so we'll just remove that. People can hear a little bit about the American alligator as they walk by. And then we'll add a couple of these on either side. And I'll try to change these to something else. All right, let's do amphibian crisis, because, you know, we're next to the water spots. And then we'll do... Repair the ozone. Now that sounds really good. All right, so hopefully that will like, oh look, okay, so these people are coming over. So they had a nice drink. So their energy is up, but their thirst less so. They're idling, they're on their way. Did, did their education go up at all? Okay, we're gonna have to do a lot more work than just like little patch spots like this, I think, to get education up. But it does seem like this is actually helping quite a bit. So let's get the habitat boards in all over the place. All right, up, 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 up. There we go. The more places we add this in, the better. Oh, look, everybody's like, wow, a sign. All right, if that's all it takes. Hello, friends. Would you like to learn a little bit more about American alligators, eh? Here you go. Here you go. How do you do? I'm sure. Okay, apparently you can't go that direction, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, also, this this area... Oh, I don't have any signs over here. What? No wonder people don't have any education. Like, they have no idea. They're, they're just like, what is that? Is it a dog? They have no idea it's a timber wolf. If I don't have it labeled, how will they know? All right. So, meanwhile, our researchers are doing a great job unlocking things. Um, Let's actually do more... Oh, what? There's... Oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> okay, Dr. Oscar, we actually need to like get some research done on an active disease that we have here. And we actually don't have a lot of research on the American alligator, so I'm gonna get that going too. And it looks like we don't have a lot of research on our other animals either. Ah, okay, I think I need to hire like a brand new researcher. All right, let me pull up our Patreon name list because I didn't think we would need it because I was like, oh, it'll be so easy. We'll just pop in for like two seconds and be able to get that education up, no problem. No, apparently it's going to be a little harder to educate all of our guests than I thought it was going to be. How are they going now? Let's see, what is our rating at now? 2.1. <laughs> Almost an entire day's of efforts, and we got like 2.1. Well, oh well, at least we're learning a little bit here. And this is actually going to be... This is going to be Vet Silver. Silver, thank you so much for having joined us and having been one of our patrons for so long and helping us out. I really could not do it without your guys' help. Because it sure does help Chips and I not feel so stressed in the ever-shifting world of YouTube. Uh, and we're going to call you Researcher Vet. There we go. We'll try to get you trained up pretty soon. And then we'll rotate between... Uh, we'll hire another... Oops, not an educator. Another vet. And this is actually going to be Vet Kiara. And so this is going to be another researcher, Vet Kiara. Welcome, welcome. And once again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining us. Let me mark those names off. There we are. For joining us on our adventures and making all of our pixel biology adventures possible. You two are headed off to go see what's going on. Oh, what's... It's a... It's a vigilante! Oh, get him! Get him! Oh my gosh! Apprehend that miscreant! Okay, Vigilante is not the right name. Ha ha! We got him! Yes! Oh my gosh! Alright, this now is going to be Haley. So this is going to be, um, let's see. Beaver Protector Haley. And Haley, thank you so much. You have just caught a very, like, he's unhappy now, but that's because... He got caught and beaver protector Haley, good job. That was really cool. She she has gone ahead and chased down a pickpocket. She's caught all three of the pickpockets she's ever chased. I'm so proud of her. Alright, that was a really cool moment with our staff too. Saving Haley, there we go. Yeah, look at her. She's just I like that confident swagger. Awesome, awesome. All right, but now that we've got a little bit more research going, or researchers we could have going, I'm going to do some more research on, let's do Timberwolves. Um, and then, gosh, yeah, Dr. Oscar, I don't think needs to work on the active disease anymore. So I'm going to have Dr. Oscar work on the black-tailed prey dogs for now. All right, there we go. Phew! Okay, trying to take care of a whole bunch of things here. Uh, let's carry on with just putting up some basic signs today. <laughs> that seems like a good move. And I also want to make sure we're putting them in with the speakers. So we'll grab some of the basic signs. And then I think we need to continue to- oh my good word, there's a lot of trash here. Alright, I need to hire another helper. <laughs> I really didn't think we were going to end up with so much new staff, but we clearly do. And this is actually going to be Lion Puffs. So this is going to be, uh, we're going to call you Gardener Lion Puffs. There we go. And Lion Puffs, once again, thank you so much for being one of our patrons, keeping all of our adventures going, including hopefully Timberborn pretty soon. Now that we're working with beavers again, I'm getting really excited about trying out Timberborn. It looks adorable, so we'll have to see. Let's see. What Lion Puffs, we didn't keep your name. All right, Gardener Lion Puffs. There we go. Now you should keep your name. Excellent, excellent. All right, so that's going well. Uh, we need someone repairing this fence. Like, what on earth is this? All right, maybe we're, let's edit this barrier because maybe people need to see the beavers a little more clearly in order to go ahead and enjoy observing them. So let's actually change it to a glass fence. And then now people can hopefully see the beavers with a lot more clarity. They're taking little pictures of them. I really wish you could put in like some fun um, telescopes so they could just like look through telescopes to see them really up close. That would be adorable. All right. So how are we doing now? 
How's our, how's the yielding? 1.8, it went down! <laughs> I can't believe it went down! Oh my gosh, all right. Well, let's add in a couple more signs. I suppose we can only do what we can only do. All right, so we'll put in a couple more signs here and there. There we go. And is that going to clash with the other beaver speaker? Not if we're super careful. Excellent. So now there's another sign about beavers, at least. And then we'll just kind of like patrol the zone and anywhere I don't see signs and speakers, we'll add some signs and speakers and hopefully <laughs> slowly but surely people will start getting the idea like, oh, these are the bears. Oh, these are the beavers. All right, we're gonna change this one to the grizzly bear. And then we'll come on the back, there we go. Yeah, now people will have a little bit of info about Ye Olde Grizzly Bear. It looks like we already have some signs, but we need some more speakers. So we'll come over here. And then... Let's see, can I just stick this... Maybe up? Wait, 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 why, why do you say... Okay, there we go. Yeah, now it works well. All right, and we'll wiggle that speaker down a little bit. Because that is not the- here, we'll hide it below. That sounds like a better idea. We'll hide it in the floor. There. And people will just hear, like, important information about grizzly bears coming up at them from the floor. That's fine. And then there's also some really big- here we go. Yeah, some really big and beautiful displays uh, that just kind of tell you more generic information about the animals that I think will work really well. So we'll put that down. Oh, Jojo the Moose is about to die of old age, no! All right, so we'll sprinkle some of these around the place. I don't think it really matters um, what the different signs say because I don't think it, it counts as teaching the guests different things. However, we'll still sprinkle them along. And like I keep saying, if the guests aren't happy, they're not really going to settle in and want to start learning. So I want to make sure people have, like, they're rested if they need to be rested, that they've got places they can go ahead and throw their trash away if they need to throw their trash away. Here we go. So we'll start sprinkling more benches along too. Alright, so out of curiosity, if we looked at the heat map for guest needs, and education. Where are the most poorly- Oh my gosh! Here! This is where we need to have everybody learning a ton. Oh my word, look! What is- what is going on? Do- do none of these people know how to read? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is- this is absolute bonkers. Okay. All right, we need to do something about this. I didn't realize that everybody was so, so very eager for learning more about the seals. The seals just are literally stealing the show over here. Um, oh my word. All right, we'll have to figure out like what to do. We clearly need to make like a bigger zone that people can maybe get a better view of the seals. <laughs> they really want to like come down. Oh my gosh, okay. This area needs some help. It really needs some help. Obstructed. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can change that pattern, but... Oh my goodness. Okay, an animal has just escaped? Oh my gosh, that's the last thing I needed. Maybe? Oh my gosh, and there's like broken machines and trash everywhere. What is going on down there? Obstructed, dang it. Okay, I was trying to like make a fun, I guess maybe I could at least make a little bit of an extension over here. I'm really making this thing mad, I think. But I was just trying to think of like a fun way where people could try to come see the seals a little bit better. And instead I may have made a chaotic mess because you can't really get close to too much of the, uh, here, maybe if we go straight out like this. And then, okay, that's not gonna work. What if I came like this? 
There we go. Maybe people can come in further to get a better look at the seals, and that will help. And what important alert. Oh, we have another escape baby alligator. Oh my gosh. And meanwhile, one of the Arctic foxes is not doing well because it's still, it's been stuck. Why are my foxes stuck in boxes? That is not what I need. Oh, geez. And now my bullfrogs are having some issues because there's going to be way too many of them. Oh, no. Jojo just died. Like, oh my gosh, a whole bunch of animals just died. All right. This is getting a little out of hand. All right. Everybody move in here, please. And then are my bullfrogs not okay? What happened? Oh, their exhibit is like filthy. Super filthy. And they need more in their layout. And we haven't... Okay. No wonder. All right. All right. Oh, my gosh. Don't look. Look away. There's so many dead animals. <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah, no wonder people don't want to pay attention to what kind of cool education things they could learn about uh, because there is just mess and chaos everywhere and I could totally understand how they would be completely disinterested with, you know, anything about this area. Holy cow! Alright, so we're gonna need to clean this up in order to finish this challenge so that we can one day be able to go ahead and play Timberborn because I'm not gonna let myself try it until after we take care of this challenge and we beat it. Alright, alright. This is gonna be a little, a little bit more work than I thought, but we will learn a lot of valuable information about how to run better zoos. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our little animals who are clearly not dying in droves. Oh my gosh. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. What on earth? But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I will see you guys next time. Oh, this is such a mess. Oh my gosh. Bye-bye.